That's Italian. Families rushing out the door to the next activity, and dinners are often a grab and go deal. But uh, executive chef Shahir uh, from Lavetto Restaurant is joining us with a classic Italian pasta dish for the fam, and we can play the home game. Thanks for coming to our home. Nice to see you, Bob. Nice to see Great you to too. Be back in Hamilton. I haven't been here for ten years. The last time I was here, I got kicked out of the Funky Monkey. Oh, did you? Yes. What happened? Well, it's a bit of a long story, but I'd like to apologize to the proprietors of the Funky Monkey. It's been a decade. It's been on my mind. I was in the wrong. I was definitely in the wrong. But it's nice to be back. I heard Hamilton, by the way. Hamilton is being pitched as the new Brooklyn. My friend Roger Mooking says that Hamilton is the new Brooklyn, so gear up for plaid, beards, artisanal candle makers. It's coming. Seriously, what happened to the Funky Monkey? <laughs> Why? Well, I, I got caught in the liquor cabinet them. doing something I should have been doing. <laughs> they should lock it. They should lock it. It's their fault, clearly. 50-50, but I apologize. <laughs> it's been 10 years, and I'm back. All right, well... Our liquor cabinet's closed, but, uh, okay. we got, but, but, but the <laughs> pasta cupboard is opened the up. The pasta cupboard is We're open. We're making carbonara. I'm going to show you how to make a classic carbonara. Very simple, handful of ingredients with a little bit of technique. Mm -hmm. Goes a long way. Things you have in your home, eggs, bacon, maybe you have a, you know, a, a box of pasta at home. Yeah. Uh, at our restaurant, we go fresh. So this is our pomodoro or rigatoni. Okay. We extrude all our pasta fresh. You're going to use the same technique at home, though. Okay. And I'm going to show you. Okay. Levetta Restaurant, by the way. How many locations now? We're at five. We're opening number six by the end of the year. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have three downtown, one in Vaughan, two in Waterloo, and I'm looking in Hamilton, the new Brooklyn. <laughs> I am looking. Right beside the Funky Monkey. Never know. <laughs> Never. I don't know if they'll forgive me that quickly, but... Okay. You well, never know. I'm it's looking. It's an excuse for a return visit. Yes. You actually uh, trained at the French Culinary Institute in New York. I did after I established... Which is a natural me. springboard to Italian cooking. Well, you know, I bounced around for sure, but uh, I've had a better go at this career than uh -huh. any other career I had before, so... Well, this is looking good. Yeah. So here we go. I'm going to show you something so simple. We're rendering out the bacon. Th your whole crew is, like, smelling this bacon. I know. Crazy. Wafting. A little bit of salt, Bob, mm -hmm. because the bacon is quite salty. Right. And then carbonara comes from the word... From, from the carbon on the coal miners' faces. You see the specks of pepper represent like the carbon. Oh, okay. So this dish is very peppery. And I'm gonna give it a good amount. Like yeah, it, yeah. And it's, it's quite coarse as well. In the final dish, you want a little bit of the kick from the pepper and you wanna see the specks of pepper. It really is a celebration of, of black pepper, bacon, uh -huh. or pancetta if you have is really nice. And green onion. So I'm gonna let the green onion right at the end after the bacon is crisped up. If I do it too early, Bob, I'm gonna lose the color of the green onion. Uh huh. Okay. So the theme for Lavetto is a casual Italian dining. It's uh, very casual. Very yes. Very casual. Uh, and gluten-free pasta as well, right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Or that's available. It is in our yeah. college location. It is, right. For okay. sure. I'm gonna heavily salt my water. We did a segment once where it said I said two cups of water. Okay, I was talking about our big cooker in the restaurant. I wasn't talking about a pot. So after we did this segment, mm -hmm. like these people were calling, going like, what, what has happened? Like, you know, two cups of water, this is crazy. I meant for our big cooker at home, not a pot. Right. Okay, can you crack me an egg? Yes, I can. And I'm looking okay. for my spaghetti. I don't know if I have it here. We forgot. Do we, do we have the spaghetti, Jennifer, in the back really quick? In the back room? Thanks, Jennifer. Crack me an egg real quick. If you get While you run spaghetti. and find some spaghetti okay. in a takeout okay. container. Live TV is the greatest. Oh, Jesus, I told you. Well, this is getting to be a right. nightmare. Take two. Take two. Take it out I should have got the spaghetti. That's the, uh... All right. Oh, my Lord. Oh, well, this is the TV version. This is the TV version of our carbonara, yeah. our spaghetti -less carbonara. Yeah. I'm actually waiting for my water to come up to a boil as well. You want to do another egg? You can. Uh, okay, sure. Okay. You kind of missed half of it on your Cut. suit there. Did oh, I screw up your suit? Of... Oh, that's okay. Do you think Jennifer's going to come back with spaghetti? Otherwise, we're in deep trouble. We you have know one that. minute. Oh, I can make a frittata. Is there any spaghetti in the house? We can. <laughs> Brian behind camera, too. Brian, He's Italian. Back Brian, have you got spaghetti? No, All nice. Right. Let's pretend we have spaghetti. You're dumping it in the water. You're using <laughs> the cooking water to create your sauce. Right. And actually, I'll show you just the sauce. Give me some of that egg. Okay. The starchy cooking water from. Right. Just dump her in? Yeah. Yeah. And you can see without scrambling the egg, you're going to create a creamy, creamy sauce. This is what you're going to toss your pasta in, mm -hmm. our imaginary spaghetti. And look, with off the heat, the residual heat, Brian, it is a creamy kind of sauce. Here's our spaghetti. Cue the spaghetti. Go, give it to me. Oh. We did it. Found some. Throw it in here. Luckily, it's fresh pasta. It cooks in two minutes. Brian, you've done so well. It's the new Brooklyn. Look. Yeah, it's Bob, by the way. Bob. <laughs> <laughs> That's OK. Hey. <laughs> Seriously, we're very lucky that it's fresh pasta. It will cook in like 30 seconds. And look at the sauce though, Bob. This is the trick. We're gonna create this creamy, golden, beautiful sauce. Right there. With, oh, where's sorry, my camera? Oh. 
<laughs> right there, right there, don't move. Without making a scrambled egg. And this is the real trick to a good carbonara. There is no cream in a good carbonara. Which okay. Is starchy cooking water, yeah. the egg, and okay. I'm gonna toss it for we you. We got to go, Chef Shahir. But uh, that's, that's a here beautiful we thing. We'll send some customers your way to Lovetto. Please do. We'll hook up the website at chh.com. Wow. Delicious. We'll Thanks for the spaghetti, cheese. Jennifer. We got it well. Okay, we're back with another hour of morning walk. When the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine, that's some more